I think we're in. I'm gonna try and do multiple things today, um, four different things. Step one, if you watch the earlier videos, you'd remember that um, uh, but where the deck and the hull meet, it was um, compromised, there was cracks, it was weak. So I've applied a thin layer of um, chop strand putty there. I climbed in on the inside and put a big thick layer of chop strand putty from about there up to there. If you follow me around here, Step two is there's a little bit of fiberglass to still be laid in the hole there. A couple of days ago, I put the final layer of um, fiberglass mat to strengthen the transom. Um, so I'm just gonna sand that down a little bit, finish it off with flow coat so it's nice and smooth. And then we'll move on to the, the fourth and final objective for the day. Uh, and that's the rear cap. Pretty thin. So we're gonna do a layer of um, fiberglass mat over the whole thing. And when that's dried, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna work on fitting it back in and uh, that's going to be a fiddly job um, but I'll feel very good uh, once once the the bum is back on it's gonna be a good day so let's do it g'day guys hope you're going well uh, I went up to Bunnings and bought myself a new cheap belt sander to replace the one I stuffed there you go nice and clean happy days only $110 and now we are about to scuff up the new deck so we can lay down some sheets of fiberglass and finish the waterproofing So there's about four layers of chop strand below the deck, onto the transom, um, and now it's time to put those auxiliary, just build up the strength. So in the future, if I want to put a, maybe a 90 horsepower, or a, or a 120 horsepower or something, or a four stroke that's a lot heavier, it will have the strength. Lovely day for fiberglassing, isn't it? Come here. A paid meeting. This is my friend Adam. He's he's come a long way. Baby steps. He's learned to do the resin. And if you have a look in his bucket here now, he uh, he's officially putty trained. <laughs> no more accidents, eh, hey, mate? Get it? Getting that. Putty, putty trained? Putty trained. You like that? comedian. That was my joke yesterday. Oh, oh my God, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pleasant. No wood present at all. So, thankfully, where I where I filled both bungs with fiberglass and cut out a section of the wood and filled it with fiberglass um, and then drilled through that that way. Same as the main bung. 
There's no wood exposed. Hey, all right. What is it you like about it? This chopper would say, well, you know, the way it just... The way the toes just pop off. Lots and lots of toing and froing. I'm um, using every sand I've ever owned. I have trimmed this side of the deck back, trimmed this back, and vice versa. And from the bottom side all the way up there. And similarly over here. And I'm content with that. That's as good as I'm going to get it. Um, and the rest is going to have to be dealt with with putty. Surprise, surprise. Mix up some strong ass putty and get the ass back on. It's been a long time since I cut the ass off. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with myself. 